You've got the crypto gains. You got all the thousand X gains. Now what? How do you use it in real life? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of options on how you can utilize crypto in your real life and how to withdraw it to your bank account from an exchange. We're going to use, we're going to do a Coinbase and uphold both in this example. So we're going to show you start to finish withdrawing crypto to your bank account. But first, let's talk about some alternative options that you can utilize to sort of escape from the system. And one of them is Kronos, and they have their own card system. Uh, they have a free version, and then they have the paid to play. Some of these are really, really good, but you do need to pay a decent amount to sort of pay. And I think that there are better options, especially for your money. But I have used the free card on this. Anywhere that accepts Visa accepts this card, and this is how you can spend crypto in real life. Option number two is going to be Uphold, and they have their own card as well, and it is a MasterCard. You receive cash back in XRP and other different cryptocurrencies. The last I checked, it was 4% cash back in XRP. I've used this as well. Uh, I have never gotten the physical card, but I just used Apple Pay, and it's fine. Option number three is going to be using the coinbase card and this is the one that i actually personally use i use um usdc which i get 5.5 percent apy for just holding and then every time that i spend that usdc i also receive one percent cash back in bitcoin to me this is a great great value and this is actually what i do in my real life i send in money usdc to to buy groceries, gas, and other basic necessities that I need. I barely, the only thing that I use my bank is for paying my mortgage. Everything else, I use this card. I store my crypto on a wallet such as Ledger or a hot wallet such as Exodus, Decent, Phantom, Hashpack, Metamask. There's many, many options. I don't store more than $2,000 on any exchange at any time because I don't forget about the lessons of the bear market. Not your keys, not your crypto. But now let's show you how to withdraw this to your bank account. Now, in this part of the video, we're going to be doing both Uphold and Coinbase. Uphold for whatever reason, for security reasons, it will not allow me to click on it. Well, it will, but it will just be black this whole time. Even if after I log in, I'll show you. But we have screenshots for that. But we're going to start it off with Coinbase um, and how to withdraw. And as you can see, not your keys, not your crypto. I do not keep more than $2,000 on any exchange. Store it on your wallet and send it in when you need it. Crypto's fast and it's cheap to move around. But, so we talked about the... Uh, the, the card, which is what I use, but let's say you just need money in your bank account, whether it's like paying your mortgage or whatever, somewhere that doesn't accept a debit card, um, this is um, how you can do it. All you're going to do is just cash out. Now, I already have 20 USD, but typically I have USDC. Now, if you can wait one to three business days, this is going to be the best way. Now, it's, it's already unlinked because I typically don't do it, but you're just going to link your bank account and cash out whatever you want, whether it's $20 review order, and then it's going to send you a verification code and then that's it. Now, if you want to have it immediately, the only thing that you need to do is go into your USDC or whatever crypto asset you want, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, it doesn't matter. As long as it's on uh, um, Coinbase, you're going to convert it into USD as we can see here. Uh, and we're going to go from USDC to uh, US dollar. I already did this for another video of $20, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you have whatever you need in your bank account, you're going to go back to your assets. You're going to click cash out. And then we're going to go from USD. It might be on another crypto asset, but we're going to do USD. And then you're going to do, you're going to link up your debit card, cash out, and then you just do whatever amount that you want preview cash out and then it's going to send you a code um you're going to say cash out now and then which is at the that it's at the bottom here you're going to say cash out now once you do cash out now it is going to send you a code which you are then going it's going to be to your phone you're going to verify the code and it will immediately be in your bank account i think it's 0 0.05 percent so if you do like 500 dollars, it might be like five bucks or whatever i don't know what the exact number there is a free way and then there is the 
paid expensive way, which is immediate. Now we're going to do uphold, which the process is the same for basically every single exchange. Uphold will not allow me to record it. So I've taken some screenshots already from my other video, which I did on uh, TikTok. But what you're going to do is you're going to click transaction there at the bottom. You're going to click from source. You're going to click on whatever you want to sell. In this case, I'm going to do Solana. Then you're going to click your destination. You're going to scroll down and I already have my debit card linked up and my bank account linked up. So I would just click on whichever option I want. The good part about Uphold it is it is instant either way where you don't have to wait one business day, whereas on Coinbase you do. However, if you don't have it linked up already, you're just going to hit that little plus button, say add a card. You're going to add in your information just like that. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, and if you want to add in a bank account, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to click plus and you're going to use a third party. You're going to click on USD. You will then use a third party known as Plaid. You're going to basically essentially log into your bank account. And then that's how you're going to get it. Both of those are fine. Um, either is fine. And then also another option is you can just barter. Uh, that's already been done with Solnik. If someone accepts crypto, you can just give them crypto straight up for whatever good or service that you want. There's many ways of doing this. Let me know what you want to know next and follow me for more, you savages.